to Factorio. Now, it's uh, it's been a while uh, in between episodes, as you can see. I've been, just been doing um, a lot of testing and um, planning, I guess. Uh, I've installed a couple more mods that I think will help uh, push us in the direction we want to take this, um, this factory. Uh, pure bot-based. Um, Alright, so... Let's go through the mods that I've installed. Um, water fill for, for one. Um, this is just to create water. So it works like landfill, but it it, it, it allows you to place like um, water. So we can make more lakes um, because that was something I messed up when I created the map. And rather than creating a new map and starting from scratch again and getting up to this point, I thought I'll, I'll just install that mod and we'll, and we'll do it that way because, um, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to go through the early game again. Like we're just getting to the good stuff. Um, so yeah, it uh, it just, it just works by, uh, just like landfill. So I can place it down and, um, we can, we can do lakes wherever we need to, uh, place more water for these, uh, power plants. Uh, that's another thing that I've changed. Um, so we have uh, an additional four reactors here. Um, so if we have a look at the ratio, we have 144 um, heat exchangers. And we have a little bit over our recommended um, steam turbines, but they, they all seem to be running very nicely. Uh, 252. So I think I calculated our max to be about 1.4 gigawatts. And uh, we're currently consuming uh, around 850 megawatts. So it won't be long and we'll have to expand that again. Um, which is why I really wanted the, um, the water mod. Um, okay, so the other mods. Um, this is probably the, the biggest one. Oh, this is not good. Where the... F Where the fuck did you come from? I just went around and cleaned out all the bases so we didn't have to do this. Alright, where, where did you come from? Uh, I bet you it was over here. I bet you it was the base over here or something like that. Although, why didn't it go for this stuff? Seems very odd that it just, it came right through here. There's nothing else that... Yeah, see, I cleared out all this crap. I don't know. Um, anyway, I, um, I did a, I, I played around with the, uh, science a little bit. So we got the, uh, level three, um, productivity modules and I put some beacons around it. I generally just tinkered with all this stuff, putting beacons down and, um, productivity modules and stuff like that. Um, we finally got, uh, Robot Speed 10. It, uh, it only just finished, basically. It took a number of hours to finish it. Our factory just can't handle it. Um, like, we, we just... Yeah, even after all this, like, it just, it takes ages. So we will need to ramp that up, uh, quite a bit, actually. Oh, yeah, I cleaned up all the crap that was down here. Um, so the only thing, the only stuff that's down here is, um, science stuff. Which is good, uh, because we're going to be, obviously, rebuilding everything in, uh, a bot layout. Now, I have been playing around with, um, some ideas. So, previously we had this layout. Where we have the beacons in between the machines. And, and that allows us to get um, a couple more um, speed beacons on there. 
But um, in my testing, I had a bunch of smelting layouts and I was testing all different configurations. And this one seemed to be the best in terms of space. Um, because, because we don't have the beacons in the middle, we can fit more machines, which seems to work out better uh, for this circumstance because we're limited on space. So I reconfigured these and um, we're going to be reconfiguring it a little bit more as well because we won't be using belts. We're going to be using uh, bots to do it. So that brings me to that mod that I wanted to show you. Just let me get back up to base. Okay, so... This is it here. So it's called um, Loader Redux, but basically it is a, a loader. So it takes a belt and inserts it into whatever you put on the other side. And you can do the same thing. You can um, reverse it as well. So we can empty your chest or whatever. Um, so what we're doing is we're just feeding two blue belts into these uh, passive providers. Rather than... Um, putting them through the machines like this. Um, so that way it's more more reliant on bots. Uh, but essentially we're, we're still we're still going to be limited by the throughput of the belts. But it makes it a lot easier to expand because if I need more resources, I can add another belt and put another passive provider there. So it, it'll just make it a little bit easier to expand and then we can do this layout, which is what I really like. Um, so we've just got, uh, let me, let me turn this off just so we can see. I've got a requester chest and then, yeah, it just feeds into the smelter and then there's a passive provider. So it takes up very little space and then we can get beacons on both sides. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it seems to work out really nice. Let's turn that back on so we can actually see what everything's doing. Um, okay, so then I um, I was playing around with this as well. And uh, yeah, I don't like it because um, this initial setup that we did here, I realized that we had no space to put beacons, which is um, kind of bad. Um, and I also didn't really like the way we, we had to handle fluids. Um, where's the battery one? Because that is terrible. Yeah, because the batteries take uh, chemical plants, uh, like feeding fluids into it is just an, an absolute nightmare. So I I tried a different design here. So we've got a load of beacons in between each each block. And, and that speeds it up, uh, but it still gives me issues with uh, fluids. So I've got the... Uh, so I've got the uh, sulfuric acid being pumped down here and then it branches off into different directions and that's like the, the best I can do. So, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking about possibly doing something similar to this where we just have um, a single line of machines surrounded by two lines of... Um, beacons rather than doing a double layout like this because this uh, row of beacons can't touch these whereas this um, gets uh, it gets a lot more effect from the beacons because we've got both rows uh, touching it so I might do that uh, but yeah obviously we're still going to need to work out a way to handle fluids uh, and the whole reason I did all of this was to um, increase the production of our um, uh, speed modules and productivity modules because they were just, they were taking ages and we needed like 600 down in the uh, smelting area. Okay, so now that I've, uh, I've caught you up and um, we can, we can continue on now. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave that alone. I think what we're going to do is go down and reconfigure the smelting. 
Oh, actually, one thing I need to do is fix this. I've just jimmied this up and put coal onto the... Oh, God, it's just... It's terrible, isn't it? Um, we need to get a coal train happening. So, why don't, why don't we do that? We'll get that set up. Oh, I need to fix defenses today as well. Because our outpost... This one's not currently like the flame turrets aren't active because they've yeah maybe we should do that today instead of the smelting array i can do the smelting array off camera like that's pretty trivial but this might be exciting because we'll have a military train that comes in and tops up all the uh, outposts i also need to get this one actually built it's um yeah, it's pretty vulnerable. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to do is put artillery turrets down as well. So, yeah, maybe we should do that. So, we'll set up the coal train first. Uh, not that we're desperate for it. I just want it done, basically. Just so we're not belting it anymore. Okay. Well, if that's the case, um, this is our coal deposit. Let's turn off the pollution. So how do we want to handle this? Um, is this going to be a main road? I think it is, yes, because we have an extra branch to go off into there, so that's fine. So what we'll do is... Um, should we have a main road here as well? Probably. Okay, so we will... Um, I'll put a T intersection there, though, just in case we want to travel down further. And then we'll go off in this direction, and then we'll branch off and have the coal deposit here. Actually, that's something I would like to do. I'd like to get a blueprint of, like, this entire setup, including the holding array. Because I feel like that's something I'm going to use a lot, because it tucks it right up against the... The deposit sort of just fits. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's get the train down there. So just click on you and. Oh, that's um, that's something I wanted to do. I had an idea before. Um, rarely I get ideas. <laughs> Basically, um, remember how the intersection, um, we needed to remember to remove the signals at the end of this straight whenever we do an intersection. What if, rather than mirroring the, uh, the blueprint with the signals on the end, what if we mirror it with the signals in the middle instead? So that way there won't be any signals at either end and we can just stamp it down at the end of the intersection perfectly. So let's grab a blueprint and I believe it's two. Yeah, it's, it's like that. And then down like that. Beautiful. And we're not going to include the train. No, we just want the signals. Yep, yeah, beautiful. Okay. So this is going to be rail straight. Okay, and uh, we'll just put it in our inventory for now because I want to open up this blueprint and delete this one. And then we'll put this one in. Beautiful. Okay, so how much further do we want to go? Let's, let's go one more. Um, screw it. So, yeah, for this first one, we'll have to do it like that. But then, when it comes time to do the intersection, we can just stamp it on. And there'll be enough room in here to fit an entire train. Well, hopefully, anyway, that's the, uh, that's the plan. It's very close, but it works. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oops, don't get out of the train, you idiot. Okay, so then we just line up the uh, power poles there. Oh, I installed a, a couple of other mods. Um, just um, just quality of life mods, in my opinion. Um, so I have Kitsch's personal lighting mod, um, which is something I thought would be good for the series, basically, because because I'm recording. Um, the night vision goggles, like they they desaturate everything, and I don't know. I just. I notice it um, quite a lot, and it um, it bothers me. Uh, it, it makes the game look really dingy, and um, yeah, it just it bothers me. <laughs> so I've gotten rid of the um, I got rid of the night vision, and um, yeah, we've just got this um, this natural light here, and we can change the size of it. Um, we can also change the intensity of it. But yeah, it just it makes it a lot better for recording purposes, in my opinion. Um, another mod I got that is um, it's not really needed, but it's nice is the uh, clean concrete mod. Um, I think it's called cleanest cleanest concrete, but basically it it stops all this shrubbery from growing through your concrete, which looks hideous. All right, and I think we're going to need some turrets. Um, what else do we need? Need some gates. Um, some flame turrets. Some walls. And some more rail. Okay, cool. Um, another thing I was thinking about is this 45 degree angle thing here for the corner. I'd like to make it tileable in, um, on the angle as well. So we could put multiple of these together. If we wanted to make a large 45 degree angle, I think it would come in handy because in its current form, we can only, we can only put it in a corner and that's it. Now I want to I want to copy this. Place that right there. We need some more stack inserters. Um, notice that all the wires um, transferred as well. You get free free wires when you um, blueprint the setup. But we will need to link them together. So let's grab our green wire. And, um, ah, shit. Is that right? Yeah, no, that's right. Um, yeah, okay, cool. And you go to there. And then that's it. That should be, it should be fine. Okay. Um, and rather than splitting it, I think um, we could possibly just do it like this. Because we have the circuit set up to um, to only fill um, like the chest evenly. Wait, is there going to be enough room here? Just. Yeah, so basically we could send four belts down here like this. Um, so only the first three will, in theory, would have enough to fill up. 
but because we're linking it, um, it'll be sporadic. So the, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We don't need to split it evenly or whatever. We can just dump it down there. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, is that a good idea? Having this on a bend? Probably not. Um, two reasons. One, because we it's a blue belt and it's very fast. Um, which inserters can have trouble grabbing. But the other reason is, um... The fact that it's on a corner and inserters generally have uh, a tough time grabbing things on a corner. So if we do it like that, uh, they have they all have straight. Uh, I guess this guy doesn't have straight, but if the ore makes it to the end, it has nowhere else to go. So it'll definitely give him a chance to pick it up. And let's rotate that for consistency. Uh, let's get rid of this. And we'll copy this one. Like that. Cool. Um, and then we need... Okay, that's, uh, it's a little weird. I'll admit. It's sort of hypnotizing. Okay, let's grab our, um, no, not there. It's in this one here. Um, we need eight to eight balancer. Shit. Yeah, flame turrets don't work. So they're actually destroying that. Uh, they will die though. They will die. Wait, is that right here? Oh no, it's up to the top. The top. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, flame turrets. We're definitely doing that next. Uh, let's cut this and um, paste it there. I think. Uh, chest goes in, and then out could go to the pole. Yeah, like that. Okay, cool. And then that means we can actually move this up closer. Put that right up there like that. Or we could even rotate it, um, depending on how we want to handle this. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. That is gorgeous. Uh, let's bring you in like that. Okay. And we don't need that. So we're only using seven inputs, so I hope that doesn't screw it up. But uh, that that should be... Oh, shit. We've got another one here. Let's just use red belt for it. It's fine. It's totally fine. Um, okay, train. Uh, do we have that on us? We do. And, um, cargo. Oh, I don't have any fuel. Oh, no, I do. I've got fuel for the tank that I can put in it. Um, okay, so you're going to go to outpost, um, coal one until, oops, uh, until full of cargo. Then we want to go to arrival. Uh, no condition. Then we will go to the ore depot. Really wish I put ore depot there instead of just ore. Could change it, I guess. Um, empty cargo. 
And then finally, we want to go to departure. And yours is going to be a circuit, circuit condition. When coal is less than, um, let's say 5,000. I'm not sure how much coal we'll need. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so um, yeah, I do have a little bit of fuel because I keep nuclear fuel on me for the tank. All right, uh, let's get this thing powered up and then we'll finish off the defenses, I guess. Um, also, we don't need this anymore. Fire it up. What? You fucking... You little bastard. Fuck ya. Yeah. I'm... I'm busy. There we go. Okay, now it... Now it lines up. I'm just ignoring that fucking biter, in case you hadn't noticed. Because fuck that guy. He'll get bored. And he will move on to something else. I just want to get this fucking done. <laughs> All right, is that it? Is it all at least blueprinted? I think so. All right, go home. We'll come back down and um, sort it all out. We'll print it all off. We've got to... I gotta kill this guy. One single fucking biter and I have to go back to base. Really need to get some sort of defenses up on that side. Um, let's, uh, let's upgrade this so I can just put blue belt on it. Um, yeah, whatever. Just do all of that. I think, I think that's everything. Yeah, it looks right. Okay. All right. Fuck those guys. Um, and you bastards. Okay, well, um, let's get some robot coverage out here. In fact, I'm pretty sure we've got a blueprint for it. Um, is that the top? No, this is the top. God damn it. Fuck off. Of course. 
Um, do we need more walls? We're getting pretty, pretty low. Uh, we actually need some more pipes. We're missing one somewhere. There it is. Thank you. Now, is that it for everything? <clears throat> that looks like it. All right, let's put some of this stuff away. God damn it, now it's, it, it got re, refilled. <laughs> so I can't actually fit any of the stuff back in. All right, whatever. Let's, um, let's get rid of that station and it'll go back to engineering. All right, so next I really want to sort out uh, the flame turrets, so we'll have to do the artillery train. And he's going to go down to the oil uh, station and pick up oil, and uh, that's what we're going to use for the flame turrets. Yeah.